Welcome back to the Guards Gaming Channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the 10.10 bonus update, right? The first bonus update for Season 10. And as you all know, the Fire Giant is getting a few nerfs. But hey, man, before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. We tend to put out videos weekly, and we're now streaming live every Tuesday at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time, where we play Arena with all of our Reapers on our new Twitch channel. So come join the fun. Hey, and if you're looking for some really awesome people to play with, come check out our Discord. I got an invite to the Discord description in any of our videos and our website, GarzaGaming.com. So hey, man, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go with the very first bonus update of 2023, right? It's the bonus update for 10.10. And this is going to go live February 7th, so the first week of February. So we're obviously going to get a new skin for Geb, Ice Wraith Geb, right? But we're not here about skins, right? We want to know about the nerves and the buffs. And there's going to be more nerves and buffs this time around. So let's start with the items. So Claw Shard. So Claw Shard is getting a decrease in magical power buff from 20 to 15 and a decrease in physical power buff from 15 to 10. So you're losing 5 magical and 5 physical power on this item now sundering axe is going to decrease the base current health steal from four percent to three percent on this passive so you're going to be losing one percent um, life steal from the passive of this new item or this item i should say now bluestone pendant right so this is the level one for bluestone brooch now this item is huge on amc right it just allows amc to do so much damage but it's getting nerfed so at level one and the bluestone pendant is going to uh, decrease the bonus damage on this from 60 to 48 so that's going to give a decrease of 15 from 15 damage per tick to 12 damage per tick so you're going to be losing three damage per tick uh, at the level one of bro um, bluestone brooch now once it evolves a bluestone brooch you're going to get an even bigger nerf right so the dam uh, the decrease the damage of bonus damage of this item from 200 to 1 80 man you're gonna be losing 20 damage on this so that's a decrease of damage per tick from 50 to 45 so you're gonna be losing five damage per tick now when you're talking about bleeds or poisons or any type of tick damage man five damage per tick is huge now the 15 percent current um, health bonus damage scaling is only going to apply to gods now so that's not going to help you against the big minions or any minions for that it's only going to be applied to gods so contagion uh they decrease the damage per tick from this item from 40 to 35 and arc druid's fury now i have not used this item yet man but this is going to be a huge nerf for this item because what they end up doing is this item now deals magical bonus damage instead of true damage now that might not sound like much but i'm telling you that's going to cause this item to do a, a substantial less damage because now the damage is going to be determined on um take into account how much magical protections the person you're attacking has so the more magical protections that they have the less damage you're going to be doing on that um on that god right because whereas before true damage didn't care what type of freaking protections they had right uh with magical protections it's going to take into account how much magical protections the god you're attacking has so that's going to be a, a significant change to arc druid's um fury now tablet of destinies on this one they increase the damage per stack from 0 0.08 to 0.14 so they almost um doubled this uh just shy of of doubling on the damage on this one increase the damage on that one per tick so here we go with the new god freaking nerf right and don't i'm will not be surprised if this guy doesn't get even more nerfs as more updates come in the near future because this guy is just super super strong in arena so i can't even imagine how strong he is in conquest but his obsidian flesh right so they decrease the protections buff from picking up a fragment from 10 to 6 so you're losing four protections for fragments so that's pretty big now his ember walk decreased the base damage um, from 45 65 85 105 and 125 to 35 55 75 95 and 115 so they pretty much took 10 uh, damage base damage on this um attack across the board right so reducing it by 10 across the board now this um down uh, the damage triggers twice per firing of this ability so keep that in mind so here we go with Maui, man. And I was very surprised to see Maui get nerfed yet again. 
But his mystical Ula, they decreased the movement speed on this one from 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 to 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you're losing 4% movement speed late game on this ability, which is pretty significant, man. That's a big um, loss of movement speed. Now his solar swing, they decreased the base damage from 110, 165, 220, 275, 235 to 90. 145, 200, 255, and 315. So you're losing what? Um, looks like 20 uh, base damage late game on this attack. So that's pretty, uh, yeah, and 20 early. It looks like 20 across the board, to tell you the truth. Oh, that's nasty. So yeah, so you, it looks like you're going to be losing 20 base damage across the board on this ability. And to add more salt on the wound, they added an additional 20 seconds of cooldown on his ult, right? On his landfall. Kernanos, I don't know why they're freaking nerfing this guy again too, but his Bramble Blast, or his little AoE with the thorns, right? His Bramble Blast, they decreased initial damage on this from 70, 105, 140, 175, and 210. To 55, 90, 125, 160, and 195 late game. So 15 late game. But the big thing right here is that that 70 to 55, you know, losing 15 early game. It looks like, yeah, that's just going to be nasty. Um, a nasty, nasty nerf on this ability, man. Going from 70 to 55 early game is huge. Okay, so Ishtar, his imbued arrows, the spread shot, they decrease as side damage uh, from this from 5, 6.25, 7.5, 8.75, and 10% to 5, 5.75, 6.5, 7.25, and 8% basic damage, right? So you're pretty much losing 2% late game on this ability. Now, her uh, strike shot decreased the damage on this one from 14, 18, 22, 26, and 30 to 8 holy crap they're going from 14 to 8 which is a huge reduction in damage 13 18 23 and 28 so late game you're only losing two damage but early game man you're losing a huge amount of damage man it's like six damage this is craziness straight up craziness but yeah man those are all the changes that we're going to be seeing in this this very initial bonus update for uh season 10 right now, keep in mind that this is going live February 7th. So that's pretty much the first week in February. So we can pretty much guesstimate that in the second week of, of uh, February, I'm pretty much anticipating that Smite's going to go ahead and announce their next update stream, which should allow us to see the new reveal for the new god that's supposed to be coming out in February. Because remember, we're getting a new god in February. Now, I personally hope it's going to be a ranged god, either uh, another hunter or... Or a mage, but you know, that's just me, right? So we'll see what, what happens. But hey, man, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, we're now playing Arena with all of our Reapers every Tuesday at 1130 Eastern Standard Time, streaming on our new Twitch channel. And with 2023, I now started a Twitter account. So you want to stay in the know what's going on in the Reaper world or the Reaper community, go follow us on Twitter at Garza underscore gaming, right? Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I'm Dark Garza, your OG on GC. See you next time.